Robomate Plus, India's largest curriculum based study app. Download the app now. Hello, students. My name is Nilesh Bhatt. Welcome to this final guidance lecture of mathematics. I'm sure all of you must be very busy right now preparing for the oncoming prelim exams and trying to finish the syllabus in one go. Lot of queries must be bogging you down. Where to study from? What to study? How much to study? How to present the answers in board paper? Now these queries may be pulling your energy level down. So my dear students, that's the reason we have designed this special guidance lecture which will give you clarity on all these points. So let's get started. Initially, in this session, we are going to discuss what is the section-wise weightage of your syllabus, which are the important type of sums which are frequently asked in board exam from different sections, from different chapters. Next, we are also going to see the paper pattern. We are going to discuss how to manage time and how to finish off your paper much before time so that you can save time for rechecking. We are also going to discuss some very fine points of paper presentation. And finally, my dear students, when you are very near to the board exam, in your final hours before board exam, how to do the revision of entire syllabus with the help of Robomate Plus. So these are the points that we are going to discuss in this session. And I'm sure once we do this discussion, it will give you the confidence that you require to meet your board exams bang on. So students, let us begin with the first part of our discussion that is section wise weightage. We have divided the chapters into different sections. So here is the first section, commercial mathematics. And you know that we have banking. Finally, we have shares and dividend. Now, as shown in this table, you can expect around three questions from this particular section, two from banking and one from shares and dividend the total weightage of these three questions is going to be nine marks. So next, let us see what will be the important type of questions, you know, questions which are frequently asked in board exam from this particular section. So we go on to the first chapter now, which is banking. Now, you know, in banking, we have studied a formula of maturity value. And this particular formula of maturity value, if you remember the formula, it involves four quantities. Now, what are those four quantities? They are maturity value, the first quantity. Second is the period, that is the number of months. Third is the monthly installment, which we denote by P. And the fourth one is the rate of interest, which the bank offers. Now, these four quantities means there are four type of questions, where in one you may have to find maturity value. So if you see this particular question, it is based on finding maturity value. So one such question you can expect in board exam for three marks. Solution to this particular sum you can find in module number three. The next question if you see here, here what we have to find is the rate of interest. So this is the second type of question which may come in your board exam for three marks. You can find it in module number four. And the next one is this particular question where you have to find out time period. Now this particular question, my dear students, as per as this is very important question, where you have to find out the time period, that is you have to find the value of N. So this question you may find in your board paper for three marks, you can find its solution in model number seven. So I hope you understood this, that explains the different type of questions which appear in board exam from banking chapter. And now the last chapter in this particular section is shares and dividend. Now in shares and dividend, you may find a very typical question for three marks. And this particular sum you can find in our module number 20. Now all the formulae that you have studied in shares and dividend. If you recall, there is a formula to find out the number of shares. So if you see this particular question, there is a sub question on finding the number of shares. So you have to use that particular formula here. Again, you have to find out the dividend. So you know, you have studied the second formula where you find out dividend. So that formula is also applicable here. And the third one is the rate of interest, which a person gets from dividend. 
So there is a sub question here, the last sub question where you have to find out the rate of interest. So this is a particular sum which normally appears from shares and dividend. I hope you understood all the different type of questions which are normally asked from commercial mathematics. In the next module, we'll move on to the other sections. Thank you for watching this video lecture. To watch more such interesting videos, attempt tests and to get instant analysis, download the RoboBait Plus app now.